Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss about the latest release of the Terraform, which is Terraform version 1.1. With, the with this version, Terraform has released a new feature called Terraform Move command, which is the Terraform state move command related to the state file. We'll learn in which scenario the use of move command is going to be useful and we'll see how to use the move command in the different scenarios. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching Peer Learner. For the demonstration, we are going to use the Terraform with Azure provider. And here in this example, we are creating the resource group with the storage account. And when we run the Terraform apply command with this resource block, it will create the storage account resource type. And as you can see, this is the state file which shows that it has a storage account created with Terraform. And this is the address of the resource itself, which has been created. This is the resource block, which is available, which we have created. Now there are some scenarios wherein your project wants to create a resource with the help of module instead of with the resource block directly because here we are just referring one example of resource type which is of a storage account but it could be possible you have a group of resources that you want to poison and you want to utilize the module in that particular scenario now to replace the existing resources which we have created with the resource block to the module is going to be a tedious job because if i'm going to use if I'm going to replace this resource block with this module and run the Terraform apply or plan command, it will show that it's going to first delete this resource which has been created with this resource block and it will create a new resource with the same configuration, same name, but this time with the help of modules. So let me show you what do I mean here. So if I run the plan command, that will first show me that it's going to destroy this resource which has been created with this as you can see it's showing that it's going to destroy the existing storage account and create a new storage account and that is what we do not want at any cost because our storage account resource might have uh, some really really critical resources stored in it and we don't want to lose those resources which are already been stored in the existing resources so to avoid such situation and to achieve the goal, what Terraform latest version has given, you can use the move command. So you have the keyword called move and that will give you option to move your resource from one resource instance or one address to the other address. So you need to specify two attribute form, which is the address of your current resource type and then two address, which is the address of your or the destination address where you want to move your state file to. So in this case, let's say this is my prime address and next we have the two address, which is this. Now if I run as is the Terraform apply command, I'll get an error. The reason for that is at the moment I have specified the address of module and its instance, but it might possible that my module could have multiple resources because module is a logical entity which could have many many resources so you need to specify one to one mapping because we are what we are saying here is i want to move the instance of this resource the state file of the this particular storage account instance to this address but we need to be a very very specific otherwise we'll get an error i'll show you why before that as we are talking about the Terraform release 1.1. So I just want to make sure that we have the latest version of Terraform, which we can verify with the help of version command. So as you can see, I'm using the version 1.1.2, which is the latest version. So now I should be able to use the Terraform move command. Now, if I run the Terraform plan command as is, I'll get an error as I mentioned, because I'm using incorrect address, it says that it's going to refer the same resource address instead of referring to the module. Okay. So now let's specify the exact address of the, your storage account within the module. So this is my module of the storage account. And if I open the 
storage account main.tf file this is going to be the exact address of the storage account resource type which i can specify it like this and now if i run the plan it should not show any differences before i run the plan i would like to show you the state file just so that we can compare at the moment in the state file for the storage account resource block we have a mod as in managed and the type as in the storage account okay now if i run the terraform plan command first of all we would like to know whether it is it will show any changes or not as we can see it's showing no changes or nothing has been going to change even though i'm i'm changing the the resource provisioning from resource to the module block let's run the terraform let this out i'll run the terraform apply command and then i'll show you the state file and as we have expected no changes in applied apart from just changing the state file and now if i open the state file i have a module block here which was not available earlier so now this storage account resource block has been referred from module instead of referring the resource right here as a resource block so i can go ahead and basically just remove this and this as well now you might be wondering that if i need to remove the move block then what is because i need if my possible i need to do multiple check-ins for that if i am going to run this uh, with the help of my pipeline basically so if you want to avoid doing the multiple check-ins what you can do is you can run the terraform move command so there is a command called terraform state mv command and then you can specify the same thing from address and to address it's going to be it will work as is as we have used it here with the move block in the source code itself so it will work like to like same now let's look at one more example which is a bit more advanced so i'll go to the basic uh, i will go to the different example here this time so what we are doing let's say here in this particular example we are creating a azure virtual network resource block this is the virtual network resource block which it's going to create okay with the Three different subnets so virtual network with these three subnets let me just make sure that we have the resource created okay it says no changes it means the resource has already been created and the state file is up to date as per the current resource configuration now again we would like to utilize our virtual network module which is the network module which we have it here and here in this particular network module we are creating a virtual network and then we have a count loop to create a multiple subnet so with this count loop we are going to create multiple subnets and this is defined inside the module itself whereas here we have a different different subnet blocks to create the subnets now how do you replace the state file for this different type of configuration so to do that we can again do the same thing module configuration uh, with different set of parameters and then this is our subnet configuration which will run the for loop or the count loop on the subnet block to create different subnets and now to move the state file for the existing resources we can specify this is your from address for the existing resource and this is going to be a uh, to address for the new resource type which will come from the module similarly for the subnet we have created standalone subnet as the subnet resource block whereas in the module we are creating through the count loop so we need to specify the name of the module module keyword name of the module the resource name and the resource instance which is the first or the zeroth index of the subnet similarly first index of the subnet and the second index of the subnet and then we can basically just get rid of this block entirely so I can basically simply run this command now terraform plan that should basically show the plan to match the state file again here also our objective is not not to destroy our existing resources which is a virtual network which could be a critical resource for the application which is already contains so many uh, so many resources as you can see we have zero update zero change and zero destroy it means we have successfully mic uh, we can successfully migrate 
of a state file from the standalone resource to the module and to the module resource which has a loop in it you, you can go to the uh, you can do the vice versa as well if you want to move from module to the standalone resource that is also possible you just need to make sure that what is your or address from address and what is your to address this was about the terraform move command and it will be really helpful if you want to adjust your terraform state file without destroying the resources I hope you have found this particular blog useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching the channel. See you in the next video.